If you really want to know what makes it go, what takes it high or sends it low down, well, you can work it out if you just learn about the way things work. If you really want to know how it can ride or bump and jump or glide and slide, you ought to take a little look inside the way things work and watch the thingy bump that turns the knob that makes the jigger jig that turns the thingy me jig. That pulls the trigger, that makes the digger dig. If you really want to know how it can fly without a wing or string to tie with, you find the same simple rules apply with the way things work. I'm going to market. I don't want to be missing out on any of those bargains. Now, while I'm out, you two can tidy up the kitchen. Don't worry, Brenda. We'll do it. Anything is better than shopping, eh, Troy? I heard that, Pillbeam. Just you make sure it's spick and span. Bye! Bye, Mum. Goodbye, dear. Oh. Nearly forgot. I better leave my ring here for safekeeping. It's a bit loose, and I couldn't bear to lose it. Ah, look at all that washing up. Oh no, just our luck, eh? Well, we better get started. But Dad, I haven't finished my breakfast yet. Go. Oh. That does it. The dishwashing liquid's run out. I'd better go round to Frank's house and see if we can borrow some. It's kind of you to help. We'll soon have this tidied up, Olive. Mum's going to bring me a treat. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Hang on a moment. Not so good. Sink's blocked. Excuse me, Troy. That is no way to wash up. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> Ah, Mum's ring, it's gone. Let's find it, quick. Quick. It can't have gone too far. Oh. Oh, you finished the dishes. Oh, no, you haven't. What are you doing with that coat hanger? Trying to rescue Mum's ring. Paper clip and string didn't work, so I thought I'd try something longer. It's gone down the drain, see? Let's hope your mother doesn't arrive home early. Huh. Hello, everyone. What's up? Can I help in any way? He's trying to get Mum's wedding ring back. It fell down the drain. Look here. This is no simple matter. The waste pipe is well blocked. I can't shift the pipes. Hey, how about we get a really big straw and suck it all out? Suck it out? You've got to be joking. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't it, Mr. Inventor? Actually, Olive, Troy might have the right idea. It's all a matter of pressure. Pressure? Sorry, I, I don't understand. Any liquid or gas has a certain pressure or pressing force, depending on how much it weighs. For example, the air around us has pressure due to the weight of all the air in the atmosphere. If the difference in the pressure is slight, we might feel a breeze. If the difference in pressure is great, we might find ourselves in a gale! When you suck on a straw, you reduce the pressure in your mouth and the pressure of the air on the surface of the drink pushes it up the straw and into your mouth. The same thing would happen if you stuck a really large straw down the drain and sucked really hard. But you don't really want to be doing that down a dirty old waste pipe. However, there is another tool which uses pressure that could be just right for the job. Don't tell me. A mammoth trunk, right? There's no time to lose. I'll go and get one. 
I was going to suggest another simple but effective device. A plunger. Olive, you see, when you put a plunger over the drain and push down sharply, the pressure inside the pipes is suddenly increased. This sudden increase in pressure forces the water along the pipe, dislodging anything that's stuck inside it. Is it working? I could apply just a little more force. Nice thinking there, my son. It might just work. Easy does it. Does it reach okay? That's right. Oh. Right, Troy. Tell the mammoth to blow. Okay, mammoth. One, two, three, blow! <laughs> some kind of machine to suck the ring back up the pipe. Like Troy's straw, only more powerful. How about the mammoth? Uh, not this time, Troy. <laughs> the machine you're describing, Olive, is called a vacuum pump. It works in the same way as a household vacuum cleaner. A vacuum cleaner works by sucking air and dirt through the cleaning attachment and hose. But how? Let's take a look. Inside the vacuum cleaner is an electric motor which drives a fan. This fan pumps air out of the vacuum cleaner and the hose which reduces the air pressure. When this happens, the air pressure outside the cleaner forces more air up through the hose, carrying the dust and dirt with it. At the end of the hose is the dust bag. Well, because dust and dirt are made of bigger and heavier particles than the air, the dust gets caught in the bag, while the air rushes through it and is pumped out by the fan. The inhabitants of Mammoth Island are a resourceful lot, so they soon had a vacuum pump working away. It's working great in here! Any sign of Brenda's ring? I don't know what this stuff is, but it's disgusting. The ring must be stuck on something in the pipe. There's only one thing for it. I was thinking, if you can use air pressure to suck gunk out of pipes, could you use it to make a machine that would use air pressure to dig up the street? You could indeed, Olive. The machine you're thinking about is called a pneumatic drill. A pneumatic drill uses compressed air. That's air contained at a very high pressure. When the drill's control lever is pressed, the air is released and rushes into the drill. The airflow makes this diaphragm rock to and fro, directing the air alternately into the bottom and then the top of this cylinder. The high pressure air forces this piston rapidly up and down, causing it to strike the blade repeatedly with tremendous force, thus hammering it into the ground. The pneumatic drill was a great success. Hill beam ploughed through the road. But it hadn't made the job of shoveling up the broken road any easier. Dad and Troy can't keep up. We need a machine that could do the digging too. Air pressure wouldn't be suitable for that, Olive. To do that, you'd need to use hydraulic pressure. I do what? Hydraulic pressure is another name for the pressure exerted by a liquid, such as water, or in this case, a special oil called hydraulic fluid. Hmm. A hydraulic machine uses cylinders filled with this fluid. It works on the same principle as pneumatic machines. When I stand on this piston, it presses down on the fluid in this cylinder and raises the pressure throughout the whole system. This causes the piston in that cylinder to rise. And because the piston is wider than the one I'm standing on, it's able to lift a much heavier weight than me. 
This principle is used in the hydraulic rams that work many large machines. A hydraulic garage lift, for example, uses compressed or squashed air in the same way as I use my body weight to lift the mammoth. Hmm. The air enters one cylinder through a valve. This pushes down on the hydraulic fluid and raises the pressure in a second cylinder. This extra pressure pushes a piston, which is connected to the lift platform. The hydraulic ram that can move the buckets on the digging machine or excavator with both great force and delicate precision are connected to a central reservoir of hydraulic fluid which is pressurized by a powerful oil pump. That's the last of the rubble. Any luck? Not in this piece of pipe. No problem. I'll get the next bit. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh... Yeah, uh, uh, we definitely have. We got it! <laughs> got what, may I ask? Oh, Brenda, hello! Ha! Buried treasure, you might say. It might be better if Phil being explained. trouble over my beautiful ring. But just because you dug up half the village to find it, don't think I'm going to let you off doing the rest of the dishes. Yes, Brenda. Yes, Mum. And once you've finished it all up, I'll give you your special treat. Treat? Yes. I've got some nice fresh mammoth milk. Oh, thanks, Mum. Yes, uh, thank you so much. Uh, oh. I wonder, one of these days, perhaps someone will invent a machine to do the washing up. Allow me to explain. No! Please yourselves. 